No le he dicho nada. No me ha dicho que está aquí. Me I come from the other side of the family, not the Mackay side, but from the Hohaya side, Auntie Hindi's family. My dad was Donald Hohaya, and my mum is that beautiful lady sitting next to Wadi, <laughs> holding our latest mokopuna. Um, and it's been a, it's, a, it's an honour and a privilege to be able to come down here, uncle, and, and, and celebrate your 70th. Because some four, five years maybe now, uncle travelled down to where we're from, which is down in Taranaki, to celebrate our papa's 70th birthday. And unfortunately, our papa's gone home, yeah. and, um, but we're here. Mm. And, and it's, it's, it's awesome. Awesome to see the cousins yeah. and to see you know, Wadi and them on there. So we're just here to say happy birthday from the bottom of our hearts and many more to come, many more to come. Kia ora, I'm Terence Fohaya. And uh, I just, I had a wonderful relationship with my uncle when I was a, a little boy. Wadi, Wadi, young Wadi, you saw there. And me and my other cousin, Theron, pretty much lived in his lap. Yeah, that's right. You know, I have so many great memories of, he used to have a 59 Ford <laughs> custom line police special. <laughs> uh, we used to race down the Norwegian motorway at 120 miles an hour. <laughs> Ford on the front seat. That's you know, right. That he also, uh, I used to sit next to him transfixed when he was playing his guitar and singing. Yeah. And I had the pleasure of actually learning to play guitar from Uncle Wadi and, and it stayed with me for um, Fishing, floundering, diving for powers. I think he took all the power out of bloody uh, Takapuna. <laughs> <It's laughs> <funny. laughs> no more there anymore. But, uh, you know, so he, was a, he was a perfect hunter-gatherer. Uh, only one, uh, one thing uh, I, I do hold against you, Uncle. Really? We had a pet lamb. <laughs> we had a pet lamb. We had a pet lamb. Had a pet lamb. And he grew up with us when we were kids. We loved that little thing. So did we. So we came home one day and we saw him hanging up in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know that. We didn't need it. We buried our family. At least we got treated yeah. in the region. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll feel I'll tell you later. Theron sends his love as well. <laughs> it's a good one. We'd love to come and see you. But, um, yeah, Uncle, we love you. And uh, I think the girl's going to sing your song. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I think the singing gene belongs to the what? Which one? Which one? My mum's brother's wife. Oh. And they were really tight <coughs> all the way through. Oh, really close. My mum's brother's, oh. brother's wife. He's okay. from. Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, what's it called? What's a note? What what is it called? Uh, okay. Do you want a note? No, what's that? What's the name of it? What's the name of it? Okay, alright. Okay, what's the name? Okay. Okay, start. Okay. Tori. Fa. Pakataka te Kite
Yeah. <laughs> and you're right. It's the Mackay side. <laughs> <laughs> After hearing that. No. You're fired. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry, you're going to slap you. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, I'll stop you. I'll agree with you. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna. Here you go. Junior? No, take, no, you need that mic. He doesn't need it. He can't hear anyway. Here we go.
would go home and steal something from this from this uh, railway, station. railway station. Like big boxes of de risk cigarettes. Fifty in a bag. Hard in a plantation in a fortress. And whole boxes of peanut butter. Well we go home. We got stuck into the peanut butter, and it's dry, yeah. and it just about chokes you. Right. <laughs> but anyway, there was these cigarettes, and I guess mischief, we started there, okay? Then we had a couple of friends, Peter Gimmel, Frankie Orman. They ended up in the plantation of the fortress, and they'd come out and they had about 10 cigarettes in there. <laughs> <laughs> On horseback, and they rode through the plantation, and one of them dropped. A little while later, we see them racing out of the home, past home there, and the plantation ablaze. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Now, why I'm talking about smoking is <laughs> because my brother did something, and I want to share it with you. He'd been trying to give up smoking, eh? He told me. Oh, before I get on that. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, last week, so on. <laughs> My husband ate the horse. And then the horse was bolted, he fell off and broke his arm again. In later years, he had to get plastic surgery, plastic bone there. And then we went out share milking in Mutterwai. About your, your, uh, yeah, yeah. your dad can milk six cows to my one. I mean, big hands, he squeezed those cow teats there, <laughs> and he had frost in the bucket, and here I'm struggling away there, and my bucket is blue with cold. That's not my bucket. <laughs> we went out eating over the back of Betty and them, with Joe Walker and them. And I said to my brother, because I was the oldest boy, and I was sort of wearing the look more question than that, and I said to my brother, we want to go home. He said, why? I said, there's something wrong, we've got to go home. He said, oh, mum and, and the girls are there, they can look at the house. I said, no, we've got to go home. So we go in home, and we climb on the, and we came up on the high mountains, and we're looking down on the farm. And there was a yard full of cows. And I couldn't hear a chuck, chuck, chuck of the vacuum. And I said, there's something wrong with them. We see them with them. There was 120 cows. He can milk 120 cows. I'm not. He can milk them like that. So I raced down there. And when we got down there, our mother, she saw us coming. She said, you get in there. You go and milk those cows. She was really angry with us. And I said, Mum, just let me have a look at the machine. She said, no, the engineer has been out here. <laughs> and he's taken the part away, it has to be welded, and the machine won't go. I said, I <coughs> do the milking all the time, let me have a look at the machine. So she said, no, you get in there, I'll give you a hiding. <laughs> so <laughs> I said yeah. to my mother, you can give me a hiding, but I'm going to look at the machine. But before you give me a hiding, just remember, I won't be in a condition to milk. <laughs> <laughs> So you let me go and have a look at the machine. Have a look at it. Want to go to golden syrup tin? Lid, you know, from golden syrup. Punch two holes in it, put a wire in it, hung it on the top of the snout, turn the machine on, where it went. I tell you that because Wally and I often had some tangles when we were little boys. He was always bigger than me. But the thing is, when you're little boys, you always think the older one is stronger. Well, I've discovered that's not true. <laughs> he didn't know that at the time. <laughs> it saved my skin. <laughs> so, all your family, your brothers and sisters, Wadi, glad to be here. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you for letting us show off about you. Yeah. To make up all the bad times when I didn't, didn't talk too well about you. <laughs> okay. Now, you know... Every time we meet as Maori, we have a porphyry. And you know the central issue of a porphyry? Part of it is to say, Muri a mai o koutou matei ngā aitua ngā harahara ngā pauni. Ki a kami o tātou katoa. In other words, bring together, whenever we meet, all of the things that have triumphs that make us live together, not forgetting the things where we beat each other's back. <coughs> Not forgetting the things that has caused up some degree of separation in our life. And that's what the Porphyry is about. And the Porphyry is saying, let's take these things, put them down in, in the Great Bay, and send them on to the Atua, who has great shoulders, who can carry the burden. That's what the Porphyry is about, and we do that every time we meet. So, if any kind words have been shared between us, I know they're forgotten and forgiven long ago. But that is what the portion is about. Okay. So, Farno, thank you for being here. Thank you, Wally, once again. Now I'm going to ruin the day again. <laughs> I'm going to see you in your way. On the Farno Wehi River. We left our heart one day in a sleepy little village where the folks are young and gay. They call it Mahia, a place that will survive. I don't care what you call it, to me it's paradise. Hoki hoki tonuai, king of Mahia, Kemahia, 
Kiki ja Kingi päätä kelmaa nyt, mutta kysyä nyt kysyä saan voi.